थ्री ओके गुड आफ्टरनून विथ मी है शैलन देश पांडे ग्रुप ब्रांडिंग हेड ऑफ नोबार्टिस इंडिया एंड अ गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड सो शैलेंद्र वॉट यू थिंक यू नो इन टू दिस परस्पेक्टिव Uh, you know, where, how, how do you see the training evolving, and why you think that today, uh, you know, the task force or the work working class, they should have or they should own global skills uh, in this highly competitive environment. So the training function uh, itself uh, is uh, is is very much uh, you know required in uh, in any domain, especially with the way things are shaping up globally, things are moving forward. Uh, you know, there's every day is a new change. Every day is, is a new challenge. There's innovation happening every day, so you know, one must keep changing. And in order to be able to cope up to that change, you need the right mentorship, uh, the right input to the people. Uh, you know, you know, in order to improve upon their productivity. So I think training is is very much an important function, and uh, uh, it's 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 equally evolving function. The tools that you've been using these days uh, are evolving. Uh, then going forward, if you look at uh, Uh, modules they are coming. They are more real-time case-based modules. So I think training holistically, if you look at it, it's it's a very integral part. Unfortunately, I'm not sure whether it's taken up the right way. It is to be taken these days, but I am I'm sure it it is it is picking up well and it's an integral part. Uh, fantastic, uh, uh, Shalendra. I just wanted to uh, get some insight. Uh, they say that the industry uh, they hire people on technical skills and they fire people on behavioral force. So where do you think behavior is playing a very key role? Uh, in the career of progression of an employee today, and why you think that uh, you know training has to be taken seriously? Because normally people think that training is more of a cost center. Uh, do you believe? Uh, you know, asking few things more maybe. Do you believe that it's high time where training can be taken to a, a profit center from a cost center perspective? Okay, and do you also believe that uh, you know the coming time would be a very challenging time where people people's core competence has to. Come to a level where they not only value at organization but they also value at their personal life. Absolutely, that's 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 a that's a very much an important point, and I would like to underscore this fact of personal life uh, being upgraded with the trainings that you receive at the workplaces. See, uh, cost center, profit center debate is a chicken and uh, hen story. I would go in for it to be a profit center. It's it's up to up to you the way you want to look at it. Uh, it's certainly a profit center when. when you have measurable results and measurable results of your training can only happen when you do it consistently when you modify your trainings uh, in a way that it's not once in 6 months or once in a year a kind of a story when you do it consistently you are able to see changes uh, in productivity you see the changes in behaviors and uh, that's where it is a measurable thing and then ultimately you get to see an output also so in that respect uh, it can be measured as a profit center or a cost center at this point in time blindfolded it said that it's one of training session happens in a year and it becomes a cost center i would refute it as an as an individual but uh, you know uh, that's my individual opinion i think uh, it's it's certainly not a cost center and it's up to the organization the way they want to build up their cap- capacities the way they want to build their capabilities up uh, it certainly can't happen without the right uh, training force in place super uh, yep uh, sharan just on an acad- academic interest i would like to understand that today people at a very senior role uh, they are very lonely uh, maybe their ideas are much ahead of their times right where we talk about uh, you know corporate restructuring succession planning you know executive coaching right. uh, similar to learning experiential learning uh, these are big jargons for for a uh, training practitioner like me why do you think that surojit you can really value at to the tra- training fraternity today uh, where where you know people where we can reduce the mediocrity of talent and and and, and you know and help organization grow both organically and as well as inorganically i'll tell you what uh, you know in first in to be able to be a teacher or a trainer or a mentor a person himself herself needs to be able to you know uh, to reach certain levels of performance in life as a person professional good and uh, with a set of values that an individual brings to the fore can only do a better training can only build systems up can only build people up okay can only build capacities up so that is that is one way that i look at it uh, when it comes to value addition from a mentor or a trainer knowing you personally for some years now i think uh, with the rich academic background that you have uh, the skill set that you have inherited uh, uh, by the virtue of working in in countries up in uk and uh, in in muscat and all of the places in, in india as well uh, 
uh, being associated with certain good institutions uh, yourself, you, know, you become a you are you are a pedigree of a wonderful uh, wonderful learning lineage, and you bring a lot of experience to the fore by your uh, you know, exposure to the world. I don't think uh, you know there's any other um, you know there's anybody else who comes to my mind when it comes to training and coaching. You've been able to uh, very, very uh, much superlatively perform, and I can see a lot of um, people who have changed their behaviors. I, I met a few of them uh, just a while back. I met a lot of them before also, and you can see uh, the values uh, with which they look upon you. So I think as as an individual, so that it has uh, has a lot of merit to go through uh, this, and I think it's just a start. Maybe uh, a lot of things that you can add to. At the same time, you're well read also. Uh, beyond a domain, yes, you are well read on the subject. You are uh, well read beyond the domain as well. So these things, I think they they bring about a lot uh, as a trainer in you, and it's certainly a value addition, without a doubt. Thank you so much, Shailendra. It's just uh, lovely, lovely talking to you. Pleasure. And this Pleasure. is Surajit signing off, and looking forward to a wonderful experience in training. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Bye bye.